Oh, hey guys, what's up? Uh, Jason Roberts here for jane-finch.com. Uh, I'm over here at York Woods Public Library Theater where the film screening for Know Your Rights just happened. Tons of people are just hanging out afterwards, uh, meeting with the filmmakers, meeting with the people in the film. Let's go around and see who we can talk to and find out how everything went. Hey, what's up? I'm with Anthony Peruzza, Councillor Anthony Peruzza, um, just outside the theater here. What did you think of the film tonight? Well, first of all, let me just say it was a great production. I found it like really entertaining, and uh, uh, and when you find things entertaining, you take things away with you uh, that that you know that you uh, uh, remember. And uh, I, I think it's you know information is power, and the and the screening, the uh, let's call it a movie, um, the, the 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 dramatizations uh, convey a lot of really useful information uh, to people and. Uh, and knowing your rights is really important. So uh, hopefully, a lot of folks will uh, will continue to see the uh, the production. People will be able to get it. I uh, I signed up for it, and I hope they send me a couple of hard copies, and uh, and we'll be able to pass it on along uh, pass it on as well. I'm next to Suzanne Johnson, who appeared in tonight's film and acted as legal advice for all the information that was uh, put into the film. Uh, Suzanne, what was it like appearing in the film? I guess is my first question, and my second question is. What do you hope a film like this can uh, do to empower youth? Um, I had a good experience appearing in the in the movie. It was it was tough because I wanted to provide the legal information, but break it down so the youth would understand it. I think I accomplished that. I'm hoping that um, this will youth will know what their rights are, and when their rights are violated, violated, they will know what they can do, and that they'll feel that there's some process, and that they just don't have to accept it when police violate their rights. I'm here next to Munira, who just saw the film. Munira, what do you think? I thought it was amazing. I think you did a great job. Um, it's a very heavy, boring, sensitive topic that you made fun and light, but at the same time informative that it'll it'll stick to people. Uh, next to Imran, um, what did you think of tonight's film? It was fantastic. I think it was really influential and I think it has a chance to make a big impact in the community. Um, I got involved because Mike Portuguese is a uh close close friend of mine as long as well as uh, Fanith and um, I just I was totally interested in this project from the beginning I've had my uh, altercations with the police myself and I've run into a lot of problems so any uh, anything to benefit the community of Jane and Finch and uh, to talk about police brutality and you know the way things get thrown out of proportion with the police is a project for me uh, Kande, what did you think of tonight's film? Yo, honestly, Know Your Rights is a dope film, and you know what I'm saying? I think everybody that has any concerns about what their rights are, or in terms of what their dealings are with the police, you need to go just see that. Go see that. Do you live in Ontario and you, you, you call yourself a citizen? Go see that, man. The highlight, actually being able to pull it off without getting into any trouble with the police, because uh, from, from when it first we first thought of filming it, the biggest thing we were afraid of was how are we going to have guys with guns and dressed up as police running through Jane and Finch without getting a bunch of attention and you know people calling the cops on us and stuff and amazingly uh, we had zero problems, nothing, until the very last day, the last night of the third day of shooting we had the police come up and they actually were, instead of shutting us down, they um, they were actually asking, like, do you guys know where you are? Jane and Finch is a very scary place, and uh, yeah, you guys, do you really know where you are right now? This is Driftwood, and uh, and they were actually looking out for us, which was kind of funny, and uh, um, so that was my biggest fear. Did you learn anything new about police that you didn't know before, having made it? Sure. I mean, I mean, I again, I have a lot of friends who you know have, I guess, had a lot of these things happen to them, so I've sort of heard it a lot of times, but. Not being a lawyer, I certainly learned a lot of the actual legalities of it, of what you can and can't do. So I came into it pretty ignorant, other than, other than kind of having the feeling of, of what was happening. So it was, it was nice to actually see, you know, black and white, what you can and can't do. Uh, my name is Paul Nguyen, and uh, I'm the creator of JaneFinch.com. Uh, a film like this was very important because uh, um, one of my close friends who helps with me on the website, his name is Mark Sims. And he's a fellow black guy in the area. And uh, basically, you know, he's done a lot for the community and, and 
but he still faces the problem of being pulled over by the police for seemingly random situations. So that really upset me, and I figured, you know, what's the best way to, you know, help the situation is to educate people and, you know, spread awareness. So basically, I thought maybe having a film of this nature and, you know, posting on the website for the young people to see would help encourage, you know, more awareness and education and hopefully, like, you know, create a better relationship with the police in the area and that was the goal and um, so Vanneth was helping me with the site and I asked her for her assistance to put everything together and she did a great job. So, uh, yeah, it's Vanneth. Um, thank you everyone for coming. Um, we're so excited about this film. Um, so many people helped out, particularly Jane and residents themselves. And so, Know Your Rights is a public legal education film. So what it aims to do is it, to provide people, particularly youth from Jane Finch and other priority areas, with basic information about their rights when dealing with police, an understanding of powers of arrest, search, detention, strategies um, in different situations relating to the police, and ultimately an understanding of the recourse that you can take if you experience an abuse of police power. Uh, so the film is a mockumentary. So, other than the lawyers interviewed, all the characters in the film are fictional, including the police. And um, the accuracy of the laws is, have been approved by a criminal lawyer. And ultimately, what we hope this film will be is a legal resource for libraries, uh, clinics, community organizations, and to anyone who's interested in knowing their rights. Uh, we'll be distributing the video free of charge through online and DVD distribution. Uh, there'll be a sign-up sheet in the lobby, so please add yourself to the list, or um, you can contact me via the website at www.jamefinch.com. And uh, we really hope that you enjoy the film. We worked really hard on it, and uh, without further ado, here is the film, and uh, we really look forward to your questions and comments afterwards. <laughs>